Austin, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 I was jacked. I was jacked up. Got jacked up backstage. Thought I'd come out, bring, share it. Share. That's coming off. Can I just take that off or will we not know which microphone this is? What happened to the red tape microphone? Dickweed on the late show took it off because he doesn't respect the craft. What? I said dickweed. Yeah, pretty badass, Austin. You don't fucking know. You don't know what I'm about. I'll do shit like that. I don't give a fuck. Fucking care. Come into this town. I'll tell you what's weird. I don't know. You don't fucking tell me. I'll tell you. Sixth Street. Keep it weird. How about keep it down? You're loud as fuck. And it's bad. It's bad. We accept it because it's crazy. It's awful. Five feet away is a homeless guy. We're going to live like that? All right. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Can I have a dollar? No! I'm wasted, bro! Yes! Who's climbed this? Has anyone climbed this yet? This is the closest I'll ever get to Eddie Vedder doing stand-up comedy. There's no way this goes far enough. Then later in the show, Dickweed thought it'd be funny to injure himself. Good. I hope he dies. Jump rope champion. Ninth grade. Probably shouldn't have been doing it anymore. What's a way to rig this so that I can have it near my mouth while I climb? Is there a light? Is there a light woman here? Like a lightweight woman who'll just hold it. I'm a lightweight man. I don't give a shit. There's a lot of people here wanting this to not happen. I'll be honest, before I do this, I want to say something just in case I don't make it. I just want to say one thing. Didn't enjoy the, the set I had last night. Didn't enjoy the set I had earlier tonight. This is what it's come to, okay? You think you don't have power? You have so much power. I need validation. I'm willing to do this. Just for something. This is no way to live. You guys ever do this at your job? Climb a thing? Any cops here? They're probably against it, losers. This is terrifying. Can I say something? If I die, well, I, don't, I guess there's nothing to say after that. No one's going to be like, you know what? But he made a good effort. <laughs> this is my impression of the guy who works on antennas that realizes he wants to start going to open mics. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob! Bob! I got one! Hey, is it cocky to have more than one penis? <laughs> I think it's too cocky. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write it down. I can't go any higher. This thing's like already kind of leaning over. It's fine. I'll just jump onto that very sturdy keyhole that's sideways. And then I'll probably swing over to that thought over there. Big discussion on what we'd have on the uh, screen during the show. Then we all finally agreed on Superman's house after an earthquake. <laughs> I'm gonna come back down. This thing is scaring the shit out of me. Oh, having an allergy attack today. What's that? Well, hey, Bob, if you were a girl, I could see right up your skirt. Could I do that on stage? Would that work on stage? No, it's more situational. You're right. <laughs> oh, God. You can fucking wait. There's some people are like, hurry up, I'll pay for jokes. Oh, oh there it is.
Thank you so much. If I would have that at every show, I'd fucking, you'd, you'd have heard of me by now. <laughs> you'd know who this guy was.